everyone, Bella Maya here. This is my first YouTube video ever. So if I made some mistakes along the way, please forgive me. I have fallen in love with makeup and I've fallen in love with a lot of YouTubers and they have inspired me to start my own channel. Um, so if you'd like to get this look, please continue watching. So I'm going to set... I'm going to set that base, that soft ochre base with this Sasha eyeshadow. Color is skin. And basically you want to set that mark eyeshadow, that mark base because you don't want it to crease. Plus when you add your eyeshadow on top of it, eyeshadow, powder blends better with powder as opposed to just a cream base. So yeah. I guess you want to make sure you, you're always gentle because the skin around the eye area is very gentle so after i've done that now i want to add a bit of dimension in my crease i'm gonna just buff a little color into the crease just to give the eye a bit of dimension and i'm using this box on my shadow and it's, and it's pigmented that is what it looks like so it's a very natural it's a very natural crease color and basically I'm gonna buff this into the crease using a Sephora Pro Crease brush in number 10 okay so now that I've created a bit of dimension with the eyes Basically, what I'm going to do is do the lid area. And with the, the lid area, I want to use... I'm going to use this pretty... Forever... Sorry, I'm going to use this pretty purple eyeshadow. It's a Makeup Forever eyeshadow. It's 809, and that's what it looks like. And basically, I'm just going to put it um, on the both sides of my eyes and I want to leave this area pretty clear and um, I'm going to be using a small Morphe M47 brush. I want to pat it, you want to go gently and you just want to pat it in. It doesn't have to be exactly precise because we will be blending everything out after. So again, because it's a dark color, it could get pretty intense very quickly. So you just want to use a very light hand on this. Whenever I wear this color on my eyes, people always ask me, what color is that are you wearing? So you see, it could get pretty intense pretty quickly. So yeah, I'm just patting in that plum color ever so gently into the eye area. going back in with that same Sephora number 10 brush and it has no product on it or very little product and we're just gonna blend out this crease area just to make sure that these two colors don't look like strangers we want them to look like a family <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna blend this out and just keep blending it'll go it'll move There we go. Okay. 
So now that I've done that, on the center of the eyes, I'm going to be applying a little bit of this 24 hour base. Um, it's a MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour. So you just want to pat it on the center of the eye or the area of the eye that has no product. I, after I've applied this primer, I am going to use my finger with um, this color pop I shadow and get lucky. It is a pretty gold. It's very pigmented. If you are into golds and browns and those types of neutral colors, you need to get get lucky because it's so pretty. That is what it looks like right there. So I'm just gonna pat this with my finger in the center of the eye area. And basically with that base, it's just gonna, the, the, the pigment is just gonna stick to the eye. It's just gonna, see, it's just boom. There we go, that's all I need. Colourpop is amazing, that's all I need. I'm gonna pat that color into the, on top of the eye area. I'm just gonna go back in with this same Morphe 507 brush, this small little brush. And I'm just going to go over the edges ever so slightly. We just want to blend it out so that there aren't any harsh lines in between. I'm telling you, this 507 brush is really good because it's just, it gets, it goes exactly where you want it to go because the tip is so precise. Just blend out these corners here. I'm going back in with this same crease brush and I'm just going to go all over the eye. The, pro the brush has no product on it and I'm just going to go back all over the eye so that all the eyeshadows are blended and there are no harsh lines. There we go. And I'm pretty much done with the eyes. Um, I'm going to do my face. Let's do the face and then I'll go back to under the eye area. Foundation and basically I'm going to be using my Too Faced foundation. This is in warm nude. And then I mix because this can get really matte especially for during the day. So I've primed my face with MAC Strobe Cream. And I'm going to put a pump of this and a pump of this and I'm just going to mix it together. And my foundation is pretty much blended. Let's just do the neck area. Don't forget your neck area. Your ears. Basically everywhere. And I'm going to be using this Bare Minerals um, Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. And I love it because it has light reflecting crystals in the concealer itself. So I'm just going to... Um, and it's twenty dollars. It's not like a ridiculously amount of money. Now I'm gonna be using my Mac 227 brush, and because of this dome shaped, it it it, it makes getting under the eye really easy. Let me zoom you in again so you can see how amazing this brush is. And basically with this, it's, it gives you that sharp edge immediately. So it gives you that sharp edge that you, that everybody wants. And it's, you're done. You're done. You just need to blend out your concealer and you're done. So I'm just going to add a little extra gold right on top of it. So that way I don't need to um, blend it. I just want a little bit more popping going on here. Like so. There we go. 
this is a tome for eye defining pen and you get two two sides you get this side here and then you get another side one side is for calligraphy and the other side is for defining it's just a simple little stroke that's all we want and I'm just gonna Basically, I'm just going to be using my Too Faced bronzer and Milk Chocolate Soleil. I'm just going to give my face a little bit of dimension and I'm using this NYX fan brush. Just to give the face a little bit of dimension. I'm going in with my Anastasia That Glow Palette and I'm basically going to be using dipping in gold and I'm using a MAC 133 brush this MAC 133 brush is really good for highlighting I think it's new that's what they told me and um, yeah There's a little bit of blush this is Milani in Dulce Pink and I'm just gonna use the same MAC brush and I'm just gonna tap a little bit right on the cheek area just to whoa just to intensify the contour and highlight let me see if i could just zoom you in so you could see how pretty it looks there we go now on to the lips i'm basically for lips i am going to be using the celebrity skin I feel like a pink might have been too loud with the poop, but it's just going to be too much. So this is Celebrity Skin. Basically, yeah, I'm just going to... His color, his liquid lipsticks, they cover the lips. It's such an opaque color. Little mess, by the way. glow mist now I'm finished so that's it for this video guys I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I enjoy creating it please forgive me if I've made any mistakes I am fairly new to this whole YouTube game um, please subscribe if you like my video please subscribe and I'll see you in my next one take care bye